Hello everyone, my name is Dave and welcome back to Diabetic Savvy. Today we're reviewing Abbott Laboratories 14 day Freestyle Libre. So stick with us. I have made it no secret, I work with my hands all day. So when I was diagnosed with diabetes, I was very, very reluctant to prick my fingers every day. Well, fortunately for me, Abbott Laboratories had just released, a few months previously, the Freestyle Libre. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about this before we install it. And this video, just so you know, is going to be over a 14 day period. So we're also gonna be reviewing a couple of additional items that I strongly recommend if you're gonna use this in order to help the sensor not only stay on, but not inhibit any physical activity that you wanna enjoy. So what's in the box? Your legal disclosures. This is your applicator. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. This is the actual sensor itself. And then you have a couple of alcohol swabs. Now before we apply this, I wanna show you what the sensor actually looks like because I've gotten a lot of questions about, well, how does it exactly read your blood sugar. The sensor itself, as I said, is a little computer, little battery. Now this filament here, this filament is a flexible filament. And essentially in the applicator, and I'll show this in just a few seconds, this whole disc, it's adhered to your arm and there's a little tiny needle that surrounds the filament that actually pushes the filament into your skin below the surface. And then this, because the filament's flexible, I mean, you literally don't even feel it and there's a very low profile. So let's take a look at the applicator. Now the applicator comes and it's completely sealed. You break the seal like so. In here is the applicator. Now, if you notice here, there's a hole in the center, okay? Well, what happens is the actual needle and the last part, if you will, the filament part, is actually in here. It's uh, sealed to be completely sanitary. So this actually holds the glue and it holds that last computer component as well as the filament. So I'm just gonna screw this back in and I'll put that off to the side while I show you the new sensor portion. Shows up like this. All right, so now we're gonna join these two together. And again, this is really simple. I'm taking a little bit longer to make sure that any of you who have not tried this, um, We'll understand what I'm doing. So there's two lines. There's a line here on the applicator, and there's also a line here on the actual filament needle itself. Before you do anything, you wanna line those up, like so. Once you've done that, it's really simple. Just push down, right? And now you've engaged the system and now that center component is right there along with the needle. All right, so now we're gonna apply it. So this is where they've actually calibrated the entire system to read properly. When you put this in, you wanna relax your arm, push in, and that's it. It is fully attached. Now this is a very, very powerful adhesive. So I'm gonna talk about two different things before I go into some more details about the sensor. I have started using one of two different patches, right? Okay, now this is a, this is a flexible material patch. It's, because what will typically happen is right around the 10th or 11th day, you'll, this will start to like peel away. So I was using this for a while. Now I don't use this one very often anymore because after about the sixth day, it starts to fray right along here because of the material. So I now, this, by the way, is, you can buy these on Amazon. They're about 16 bucks for 25. Um, they're called the Flexic Freestyle Adhesive. Um, they are recommended with sensors like this. Again, I don't particularly like them because they fray so much and they get, I mean, you, they get threadbare. I've since changed now. And this is called the Smith & Nephew Flex Fix Opsite Transparent Adhesive Film. It comes in, it's a four inch by, 10 yard roll, so it's really inexpensive. It's 26 bucks for this roll. And you can cut it into circles like this, okay? Now it's a two part system, basically. So when you want to apply it to your arm, you peel off this side first, 
And then once you've completely positioned it properly, this top layer also comes off. So I'm gonna use this. Uh, by the way, this is fully waterproof, but more importantly, it's also good for wounds of all kinds. So, so we're gonna go ahead and put this on. The label is off center here. And as you can see here, I'm just gonna pull this off. And I always like to leave that bottom part on as I position it, okay? And I wanna just get that right in the center. And it t essentially what I do is I lay it on the sensor first Flip it, and then pull it off. Now, what you're gonna feel is, it's gonna feel weird like it's not sticking correctly. Here's the second part. There's another top layer of that same kind of protection that you also peel off. I hope you guys can see this, right? That also comes off. And now, you've got fully sealed area. So you wanna be careful, we'll talk more about that later. But there you go. I am fully ready to go. The way you activate the sensor, there is a, an Android and an iPhone Freestyle Libre app. It gives you instructions right here on how to apply the sensor. And you'll see that little window pop up. And essentially you just pop it here, like a little bing and a little vibration. And then you'll get a countdown timer. Sorry, it takes 60 minutes to activate the sensor, so you'll get the time that you'll be able to take your first reading. It's been one hour, and we've officially activated our Freestyle Libre. So what will happen is, your phone will send you an alert that your Freestyle Libre sensor is now officially activated and ready. When you open up the app again, rather than that big yellow countdown bar, you'll be back at this initial introduction screen. So, and the blue bar here will say, check glucose. So you hit that blue bar button, your window will pop up again, and you'll get your very first screen. Now, typically you'll have this little blood icon here because what they do recommend is that if you are used to pricking your finger, that you take a, a blood drop measurement just to compare it. So there you go. You can check this up to, up to every two hours, set reminders in the system. We'll talk more about that as we go through the next two weeks with this sensor. Hello everyone, it's been seven days and I thought I would check in and give you an update to see how my Freestyle Libre sensor is working with the protective skin that we talked about a week ago. So if you take a look here, it looks like it's in really good shape. The only thing that I would tell you, the edges are starting to come loose a little bit. That's pretty standard, but everything else looks really good. It's holding, no problem there. So. Just wanted to give you an update, check back with you in a week and we take it off and we'll go from there. Hello everyone, it is day 14 and the end of our Freestyle Libre sensor lifespan. I ran into this doorway and I ripped out my sensor. So um, I will attach a, a scan of what the sensor reading looks like. It looks like I literally dropped off a cliff. As so we're just gonna rip this out. Typically what I do when I swap out sensors as I switch arms. Um, so we'll put the new one in on my left arm and we'll continue the cycle. Uh, this is a great product. So if you're not already using a continuous glucose monitor of some kind, I highly recommend Abbott Laboratories Freestyle Libre. Works with the phone uh, and can be a great addition to your diabetes management. So thank you so much for watching. If you like what we're doing, comment like the video, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell. We are th so thrilled that you're part of the community and we will see you real soon with another video. Thanks so much.